U.S. Air Forces, Collaborative Combat Aircraft, CCA, concept to team pilots with drones. In the future, the Air Force wants to see a fighter pilot be able to go into battle accompanied by as many as five drones under his or her limited control, ready to fire weapons, gather intelligence, jam communications. But making this collaborative combat aircraft, CCA, concept to team pilots with drones, a reality presents many challenges. Collaborative combat aircraft are something in our future, General Mark D. Kelly, commander of Air Combat Command, told a group of reporters, Wednesday during the Air and Space Forces, Air, Space and Cyber Conference at National Harbor, Maryland. The discussion is, how are we going to get there? Air Force Secretary Frank Kendall that competition to procure the CCAs will begin in fiscal year 2024. The CCA concept is one component of the larger collaborative NGAD effort, which also includes plans to develop next-generation manned combat aircraft, weapons, sensors, networking and battle management systems, jet propulsion technologies, and more. There is no lack of opinion, and perspective of what people believe a squadron is going to look like, and what professional development is going to look like for the airmen who operate these platforms, said Kelly. I'm gonna tell you, I don't know, except for the fact that I know that's the path we're going on. The so-called manned-unmanned teaming concept is emerging in several different flavors, from allowing a pilot to issue high-level commands, such as loiter here, or follow me or attack that to offering a much less command-dependent, supportive functionality leveraging high degrees of artificial intelligence. While uncrewed platforms have been working successfully for decades, the Air Force's top weapons buyer told a group of reporters Tuesday, that the challenge is teaming them with pilots. Hunter said, the highest priority is to field a capable CCA aircraft that can team with our manned platforms in the earliest time frame that we can. That could be a single platform or multiple platforms, but Hunter said he has some work to do with industry to identify what is the most effective mix of vehicles and mission systems, because the mission systems is a huge piece of the puzzle. Though Kendall said competition to build CCAs will officially kick off next year, Hunter said that, in reality, it's already underway. Lockheed Martin Skunk Works recently unveiled an entirely new proposed manned-unmanned ecosystem incorporating multiple tiers of drone designs, which could reflect, at least, to some degree, the Air Force's current internal deliberations. Northrop Grumman, by way of its subsidiary scaled composites, has presented its own multi-drone concept in the past. And General Atomics says its Gambit concept is aimed at CCA. However, while work is already underway, Hunter said that the Air Force will have to wait until approval of the Fiscal Year 2024 Program Objective Memorandum, POM, dash a recommendation to the Defense Secretary on how the Air Force expects to allocate funding, to really get into fielding. The Air Force is looking at a price tag for the CCA drones of less than half the cost of an F-35, which would put the most high-end CCAs at about $40 million, according to Breaking Defense. Of course, $40 million would be at the very high end of the CCA spectrum. Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works, for example, is developing the Speed Racer drone, which is currently viewed as a platform that will be cheap enough to be expandable. While the company didn't provide a specific dollar figure during a recent press call, it said Skunk Works is aiming for a unit cost significantly under $2 million. The commander of the Air Force Test Center, Major General Evan C. Dertin told that there are three steps to turning the CCA concept into reality. One is just the logistics of launching, recovery, and maintaining, how do you do that for CCAs? Two is developing the tactics and three is getting that integrated package. How do you do the basic operations? How are you gonna launch it? How are you gonna recover it? How are you going to turn it around between sorties? What kind of maintenance does it require? How would we do that on austere fields in different theaters? If you have different platforms, what does the logistics of that look like? Once we start launching out of there, we'll start getting ready to learn. We'd have to iterate with this and find out what's the right number. What's the right role and mission? What's the right place to put them? What's the right mission to give them? We will find that out. Thank you for watching please like, share, 
comment, and subscribe.